All right, so next up is, woo, this baby. Man, look at that, that is some dark colors right there. And guys, dark is not bad, right? Like light's not bad, dark's not bad, light's not bad. There's no good or bad. Just something to dive into, learn from. So this is the darkest olive and the darkest deep magenta. And the name of um, this bottle is Archangel Samuel. And yeah, you know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it here. This bottle is associated with the Tower card and it's about a complete revaluation of our values, of our entire picture. You know, last things crumbling down that need to crumble down. Um, Archangel Samuel is great for calling in when we know there's some shit that is trying to make itself known to us in our life, um, some illusion that's trying to become clear to us in our life and we, we can feel that we're kind of fighting it, resisting it a little bit. Samuel is your boy. Call this energy and these deep dark olives and deep deep magentas together and this energy will help you look at it. Look at what you were ignoring. Um, the, the deep magenta is representing this deep foundation that we thought, that's the mind, right? Never the truth of the heart, that we thought was giving us this security. Well, shit, we're realizing it's not. Like busyness, something as um, interesting as busyness could have been creating some sort of um, irrational stability for us. The fact that we were doing things, being productive, gave us a sense of identity, self-worth, and it's, it's great to be busy and productive. In fact, it's amazing. Yet, to lose who we are in the process is not so good. So we're really waking up to the fact that our being, who we are, what's inside of us, our spirit even, is a key player and maybe hasn't been so front and center with all of our action and making things happen and our expression in the world. The two tango together beautifully and so now we're learning how to integrate this. And yeah, I mean, this is an intense bottle, you know, there's no way around it. We gotta go through this. And you know, what can kind of give us comfort is that the collective is going through this. Like everybody's going through their own form of their shit storm right now. You know, fears are coming up and my best piece of advice is to let yourself know that you are worthy to move through this with love. That's what that deep magenta is. It's all the colors absorbed and it represents this idea of love from above, like the greatest, most nurturing grandmother sort of energy just flowing in that never gives up, gives, keeps giving out and we all can receive this all the time. And if you're having trouble receiving um, love during this time of hardship and things, you know, showing themselves to you in a new way that feels kind of scary at first, call upon this dark olive and deep magenta to nurture you, to soothe you. It's kind of like the womb energy, okay? The darkness of the womb feels amazing. It's like, for guys, a man cave. Um, for me, it would be my bike rides. You know, I feel that dark, deep, like held vessel sort of vibe. Um, so yeah, so it's saying goodbye to structures that no longer serve us and really opening up to being receptive, this feminine energy that every human body has within them of being receptive to our instinctual nature, which are our emotions, really letting our emotions be, not try to change them, not judge them, just be. And with that, our intuition will come online, we'll start feeling more stronger connected to what our true self is saying. And this is gonna guide us in such a loving way, kind of that feminine, you know, kind of this energy, holding the baby energy, that intuition is going to support us through this process of things crumbling down. So the affirmation for this bottle is, I reevaluate my beliefs and ideals. It takes a lot of courage. And I see a new sense of hope in the midst of the conditions of life. So what intuition breathes 
When we honor our emotions, let them be free. This signals intuition, it's go time. You're in charge. This lets hope come forward. Hope is becoming an everyday value in a society, not just for times of struggle. Moving out of this chaos, sure, is a collective shared value of hope as a new way to move through. And we'll learn about this in a second, but this is pretty powerful. Hope gets dismissed sometimes as being, oh, hope, that's so sweet, nice, innocent. Hope is the bridge to the light serving every day. Thank you. <laughs>